a 15 minute or less reset and restore. Today we're gonna work really specifically on your IT bands and your hips. It's a way to take any stress and tension out of your low back, your knees, preventative medicine for low back and hip pain. So we'll start in just a seated meditation. I want you first to visualize how you wanna feel at the end of this session. The short few minutes we have together, when you're done, what is the feeling sense you wanna bring forward? And then putting that into your mental GPS. It's like you plugged in the coordinates, the location. We let go of the how and we enter into the stretch. Open up your eyes. Sarah's gonna be using a foam roller. I've got this little ball, if you have a lacrosse ball, or a water bottle, tequila bottle, it's up to you. You're gonna start by putting pressure on the outer right side of your leg. So you'll notice my left leg's bent for support over here. When you foam roll, you wanna take it all the way from the tip, the, the top of your knee joint, but not the bone, and then all the way down to your right glute or outer hip. So you're gonna take a few rolls like this. Remember, if you're using a water bottle like me, it's gotta be hard, like a glass bottle. The trick in foam rolling is to never go over the bone bone part, but you're looking for a soft wall, is what we call it. That place where you're like, oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> There's, that's where it is. But you're not ever forcing. And if it's too much, put more weight in your top left foot, like me internally are. Now your IT band is the fascia that connects your hamstring and your quadricep. It runs up the side of your leg. And oftentimes, the fascia, it's, it's like white substance, like cellophane that wraps all over everything, muscles, bones, ligaments, and tendons. That fascia, it gets super tight, like super glue. So the foam rolling, you're finding this space where you're trying to kind of massage out like a bread roller like a dough roller, you're rolling out any of that tight, balled up spaces and flattening the resistance. All right, I want you to find one place where it feels extra good and stay right there. Just stay. <laughs> good. Extra good meaning you know something's happening. It might not actually feel good. <laughs> we'll be here for a whole minute. The hope in any of these fascial, myofascial release is that you give your body enough time for the Golgi tendon, the reactor in your brain, to stop defending. At first, when you feel pain, your body is really smart and it, it stops you. It wants to resist and builds a wall. But after a few breaths, advanced yogis can get there faster the deeper they breathe. Then your body stops defending itself and relaxes. And in that relaxing, the pressure can come out of that space as well. team very slowly take your left leg forward into like a runner's lunge if you have a foam roller this might feel easier to have some pressure my bottle's pretty low I'm trying to roll out my right quadricep so I'm gonna flatten my left leg and kind of just slide on the floor I'm literally sliding all the way down to my knee and slide back all the way to the top of my hip not the bone just that fleshy part might even be a little ticklish or sensitive there do a few rolls up and back. This is your quadricep, the front of your leg. The four main muscles that are responsible for pushing you forward. There is no need for speed. So me and Turnley are going at a certain speed on our own bodies. Go in a place that makes you feel okay. And I will say, let's say you watch TV at the end of the night. This is a great thing to do when you're watching TV at the end of the night to just slowly, slowly woo, hold an isometric. All right, team, hold there and just breathe one minute. I want you to find that sweet spot on the foam roller. Hold the hip and just breathe. You're going for that juicy stretch. <laughs> Can you find a little bit more spaciousness in the hip?
quadricep has talked to you just a little bit. Gently take the release tool out. Come to just a runner's lunge for me. Left leg forward, right leg back. Awesome, breathe in, breathe out. It might feel good now to take a quad stretch. Left hand behind you, reach for your foot. Just extend and open. So the Latin root of the word core, courage, it means heart. And as you open up your heart to the side here, think about being expansive in your courageous chest. What do you do on a daily basis that you think is pretty courageous? Awesome. All right, team, slide forward onto your booty. We're gonna do a hamstring seated forward fold. Take your foam roller underneath of your right hamstring. Uh, yeah, the meat of the hamstring. Cross your left leg over it. Now, tippy fingers up, lean forward, and try to roll out your right hamstring. So you can see my feet are floating off the ground. That's kind of an advanced option. If it feels right to you, you can also like just lean forward and hold because that's where we're headed. My left foot's crossed over my right. Awesome. Yep, Charlie's taking a few rolls. All right, team, and then meet me in a place where you definitely feel some sensation in the back of the hamstring with your tool against that meaty part. Fold in. Flex your toes back to get more space in your calf muscles and your hamstrings. Let your head and neck relax. When we talk about courage, sometimes courage is just getting out of bed that day. This morning after I had, it's been about 24 hours since I've had the second vaccine, and I felt like a Mack truck hit me. I was so tired. I wasn't like headachey or sick, I just felt tired. Like my body had been working really hard to create antibodies, right? And so in that space, in that kind of tired space, courage for me was just getting up, getting to, getting to my coffee maker <laughs> and infiltrating some caffeine to get my day forward. Some days courage is taking a big leap in your workplace, maybe having an uncomfortable conversation. But as we build more courage in our life, I want you to assess what are the little habits you have each day that are actually courageous? Because you probably have a few more than you think. Take the release tool out and you have two options. You can stay in this crisscross forward fold. It feels really good without the tool because now you're a little bit more open. Or if you want to do more of a neck stretch version, I'm doing a plow. So my legs go over my head. My ankles are still crossed because that feels good in my body. And I'm doing like a plow with my toes reaching for the ground. Chin tucks to chest. Feel the length through the back of your neck. Now gravity's working on your hips and low back. Keep breathing. I know sometimes plow makes it a little harder to breathe. Chin compresses to your chest. You've got three, two, and one. Let's gently roll up. Okay, team, reset that foam roll on the other side. Left leg, IT band first. Position your release tool underneath of your left leg. My right leg crosses up and over for support. My left palm's on the ground and I'm gonna roll, oh, this side's tighter, and roll, slow, slow. Remember, we're going for the fleshy, the fascia. If you feel, especially if you don't have a lot of meat on your bones, if you feel any sort of bone protruding out, ignore that place and just skip it and go right onto the next part. It might feel good to tilt a little forward or a little back, what I mean by that is either turn the knee down or up to get more sensation. You can feel, because every day it's different, where you actually feel more release. <sighs> then find that hold spot. We'll hold it for a minute. The hold spot is a place where it's pretty intense, but you know that after a few breaths, it'll calm. Training your body to respond to your breathing techniques. The deeper you can breathe all the way to your core, not just breathing into your chest and belly, 
but try to expand your ribs laterally out and in getting the depth of your breath so I always say that no one really likes to foam roll just like no one really likes to brush our teeth I don't like to brush my teeth I mean it feels good now that I'm used to a clean mouth but in the beginning especially kids you have to fight them to brush their teeth because you're preventing something in the future a cavity Foam rolling is that same thing. You're preventing injury in the future, but it's not so easy for us to go through it. All right, pull the right leg up. Oh, runner's lunge, kind of. Only as a way to get into the quad. So if you have a high foam roller, it's probably easy for you to hold runners, but for me, my bottle's pretty low to the ground. So I'm gonna kinda put my knee and shin down and roll all the way up my quad. <laughs> Charlie just had a great ski weekend. <laughs> Woo! All the way back. Were you in Colorado? Yeah. That's awesome. You got to go back again. Yeah, just for a short weekend. That's cool. My legs. Woo! I know. I will also say, let's say you did something really intense, like a quadricep workout yesterday. It may be too soon. Like, give it 48 hours. If it is excruciating, then it might be too soon. But no one ever said foam rolling was going to be easy. <laughs> so know the difference in, in excruciating <laughs> and, <laughs> and just a dull ache. All right, find that sweet spot. For me today, it's in, in my hip joint, right in the hip. Like right up here in the top of my hip, the hip flexor. Awesome. Keep breathing. Stretching is wonderful and it's preventative medicine. We're preventing your physical cavities, right? But what's important to me is that you also gain a little bit of a mind-body connection. There are so many people that walk through this earth without ever thinking about their body, where it is in time and space. We're all so in our head all the time. So just take these moments to realize my quadricep is pushing against this, this tool, the tool. My arms are pushing against the ground. You can feel that and it's that presence that brings us back into the body, which in turn brings you back into the present moment. That's the important part. All right, let's head into runner's lunge without the tool. Right leg forward, left leg back. Great place to already stay, or you can reach right hand for your back foot. You might get a little bit more spaciousness in your runners if you roll to the outer edge of your right foot. Depending on your hips, you can kind of get stuck if it's straight up and down. So roll it out, grab for your foot, taking a few breaths. Good. Okay, kick it through to a seat. Release tool under your left hamstring. Position it kind of in the center, I'd say, between your knee joint and your hip joint. Cross your right ankle over, hands behind you, push into your fingertips and lean forward. I'm rolling up and down the length of my hamstring, maybe even tilting a little side to side. If the ankle cross doesn't work as well, you can push your right foot into the ground, but just make sure the pressure's in the back of your left leg. Then find that sweet spot, right ankle over left, flex your toes and reach. Hang low into the depths of the stretch and be brave enough, courageous, to see what's on the other side of the sensation. I've shared with you guys before that I used to be in a long relationship where I was just happy being comfortable with him and I was desperately afraid to ask some of the hard questions at the end of the relationship because I, if I knew the answer because he did want to break up then I didn't want to go there so I was happy being 70% happy <laughs> and instead of asking with a courageous heart the questions that I knew I needed to ask to be uncomfortable to see what was on the other side of being uncomfortable All right, take the tool out. You can stay seated forward fold without the tool. It feels really good. Or taking it back into the half plow. Ankles are still crossed. Your hands can support your low back.
The reason I share that story often is because I think a lot of us are in that position in different parts of your life, whether it's a friendship that you're feeling taxed by, but it's better than nothing, or a relationship, a job, um, a way that you eat, a way that you fuel your body. But if we really ask those courageous questions to the other person, to ourselves, then life opens up in a vast new way. All right, roll it on down. Pull your knees to your chest, onto your back, please. Breathe in. Butterfly pose or Shavasana, your choice. Today, I'm gonna choose butterfly with my knees wide to open up my low back a little. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Take in this final minute to reassess. Do you feel just a little bit more connected to your body? And in that process of connecting to the physical structure that you walk in, are you a little bit more connected to this moment? Here I am in the present moment, feeling my back against the ground, the back of my skull against the earth. Maybe even being lucky enough to smell the air in, like you're savoring your favorite flower or candle. It's a moment that we'll never get back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Close your legs into fetal pose as you roll onto your right side. Use your ear as a pillow or your bicep as a pillow. up to a seat. We'll close the little stretch meditation. Definitely lighter and stronger in your body. Definitely more connected. Bring your palms to your heart. You can either listen to the affirmation or repeat back out loud after me. Hey today. Hey today. I'm ready. I'm ready. To go with an open